Okay, going to collect a 007 here with just a quick video on a new purchase. Uh, and this one, as the title says, is the Llama Micromax. Uh, now, some people pronounce it Yama, but uh, I'm not Spanish, and it's L-L-A-M-A, -A, and it, to me it looks like Llama. So uh, forgive me if uh, I'm mangling the name of the gun. But anyway, um, Llama Micromax, and basically... This is something I just picked up. As you guys know, there's a serious gun shortage nationwide right out there now, and I'm having a hard time, you know, finding pistols. So, uh, and I sort of like more obscure ones, and uh, so I always check my local gun shops, and, and this one jumped out at me uh, the other day, and here it is. So, uh, this is a pistol made in Spain, and that's why I also have these two Spanish uh, Naranja-style knives right here. Uh, this is one that I think I just did a review on recently, and this is one that I had uh, for a long time. So, these are two Spanish knives. They go nice with the Spanish uh llama or yama pistol so uh let's get those out of the way but anyway so basically what this is is a mini 1911 and uh except this is in 380 caliber so just to give you a quick example of what we're talking about when we say mini 1911 this is a full-size 1911 and when you put it over that it totally dwarfs it so this is a scaled down version of a 1911 uh this company uh, uh, Llama is no longer in business. Um, they've been around for over a hundred years and uh, they've had many, many different uh, problems and issues. Uh, they've made several model pistols, but uh, they no longer do that. Uh, so this one, as far as I can tell, I think is from the 1990s. Um, if anyone is better uh, at identifying the age of a pistol, please feel free to uh, leave it in the comments section below. But uh, based on the serial number that I see, this looks like it's made, like I said, in the 1990s. I wish it was one of the older ones because I really like the old ones. Um, this one was brought in by uh, Stoger Industries. Um, I guess that was the, the U.S. rep for them and Hackensack, New Jersey. And it says made in Spain right on there and also says Aspana um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that uh, and, and that's it now um, this one did come with uh, broken uh, grips on it so this is what uh, this is actually how I got it just like this so uh, someone dropped it and mangled it and got uh, paint on it and so forth so um, until we put some new ones on we're going to go the rest of the video without without them on there so uh, like I said this is a compact 1911 um, this is totally unloaded by the way as you'll see in a second so this gun is a single action gun and it is meant to be carried cocked and locked so that means you would rack the slide and uh, first of all we see that there's nothing in it and then you would chamber around and then you would put that safety up and then that's how you would carry it this also has a backstrap safety on it so again it's really identical to a 1911 and has all the features of a regular 1911 this is your mag release here's your slide set up um, here's your safety this has a standard hammer nothing fancy on that and your single action trigger so uh if to try to shoot this in a single action this could never go off unless you have this back uh, safety um depressed and obviously the safety off and at that point um you know it would go off just like that this has a vented ridge across the top that's just for really cosmetic reasons it doesn't do anything it has a fixed front sight and it has adjustable rear sights um, on the side it says llama caliber 380 and like i said on the other side uh Garabondi something in a spada. So uh, that's what that says on it. So it, it's a little beat up. I got a, I got a good deal on it. So as I said, I really like these uh, older ones. I picked up a couple of holsters for it. Uh, this is one of my favorite companies. This is uh, Houston Holsters. So um, this is, I believe, their model 57 of the Houston Holster. So this is a nice, lightweight, inexpensive, uh, in the waistband holster. And, and then I got one from DeSantis. Uh, this is an outside the waistband holster, it just clips right to your belt. And this one is the model 019. Um, I also, I guess you could get those on Amazon or eBay. So if you wanted to carry this outside the waistband, um, you can do so. 
So uh, what else? Uh, it's a, a nice gun. I haven't shot it yet, um, so I'll do a little update on this. It has a standard 1911 takedown, so it has a bushing in the front. You depress the plunger, slide, slide, the, uh, slide this over to the right, take the whole thing apart, and put it all back together again. Um, I, you know, have just been looking around, and like I said, you know, what it came with was those uh, broken, destroyed grips, so I got a couple of different ones. Now I just can't figure out which ones I like best. So, um, uh, for me, these are, you know, this is just cosmetic, um, you know, but it's, uh, I always say, you know, these are like, you know, toys for me. They're like putting on cosmetic uh, clothes on a doll. So, you know, this is with the brown look. I'm not sure if I uh, like that one. It's a very classic look of a 1911. Um, this one, I sort of like. This is a, a faux stag look. That looks kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning heavily toward that one. Um, then I have the uh, basic black that I got, and uh, black just looks pretty cool. That has large checkering on it, so I might go with that. Or, because it's a Spanish gun, I might go with this right here, with this Mayan kind of a texture on it. So um, I guess it, you know, just uh, pimps it out a little bit if you, you know, want to look at it that way. It has that little uh, Spanish culture uh, Mayan design on it, and this is in silver and black. So I might go with it on that. Um, but uh, so we'll see. But right now we're we're, we're remaining uh, gripless on there until I figure out what I want to do with it. But anyway, so um, it has some proof marks on the side. It starts with X, and then it looks like a zero. And then a L or a 2. That's why very, very difficult to figure out what the age is of this pistol. Again, if you guys are, are a little more knowledgeable about this, please feel free to uh, email me or leave a comment below and let me know, uh, you know, what, what you think about this. Um, there's a couple of other companies that make these mini 1911s. Um, rock Island Arm Armory has their baby rock. So um, that's one company that makes a cool 1911 uh, mini. And then also Browning makes their, I believe it's a black label, they make their mini 1911. Uh, 1911. <clears throat> and if you think about it, Browning was actually the first company to make the 380 cartridge. So uh, if I ever come across one of those, I'm definitely going to pick one of those up. But anyway, just a, a quick find, something that I ran across recently. Again, big shortage of, of pistols around the country right now. So, um, you know, I go into many, many different uh, gun stores, and the entire store sometimes only has, you know, 20 guns in the entire store. And that's not even, you know, one shelf of one of my safes. So, uh, you know, so I definitely am going to be on a serious buying kick when things, uh, you know, pick up again. But in the meantime, um, you know, this is cool. Um, oh, if I didn't mention, this comes with, this came with a single round, a uh, single stack, seven round magazine. And I, again, haven't shot it yet, but I just put seven rounds of ball ammo in there. So this would be seven plus one once, once it is loaded. And uh, I'm planning on taking it to the range this week. So that's it. Thanks for watching. It's just a quick look. And uh, let's see, we'll put the... We'll put the knives back on there just so it feels uh, nice and comfortable with the, uh, you know, other items from its country right next to it. So, all right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.